Hello, everybody. I'm Brett Wagner, and welcome to Pastime. Name the time, win the cash, it's that easy. We're in Roswell, New Mexico, at Area 51 Dragway, and I'm getting a little nervous that some of these aliens may come down and abduct me, but I got a show to do first. So let's meet our contestants. Mike. Very good. Thanks for coming out. Doug, thanks for coming out here, bud. Thank you. Now, uh, Ken, Doug was channel surfing, found our show, emailed in. He's on the show. It's that easy. It's that easy to get on. Thanks for coming. Of course, Ken Herring, folks, right there. The man, the myth, the legend, owner and operator of Texas Chassis Works. You're going to save us some New Mexico money? Save all of it today, buddy. All right. And of course, right over here, our lovely car wrangler, Paige. She's doing all the hard work. You guys ready to play a game? Let's go. You ready, ready to win some money? Yeah. Let's bring up our first driver. Little alien green right there. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Thanks for coming out. What's your name? Dusty Kennard. Dusty? Yes, sir. Tell me about your ride. Uh, it's an 81 Camaro, two chassis, 468, big block, cast iron heads, about 2,400 pounds, all chrome molly. What you got in that motor? Uh, nothing fancy. Well, what's not fancy? <laughs> just, a, just a cast iron headed big block. OK. All right, Mike for Dusty. How much horsepower? Uh, a little over, maybe 600. All right, Doug for Dusty. Any power adders? None. And Ken Harry. Do you normally run at this track? Yes. It's my home track. No problem getting down the track? Oh, never. Never. Okay, good. Hey, Dusty, appreciate you coming you. out. You ready to make a good pass for us? All right, buddy. First, $100 round. Now, Ken, it's a little windy out here. It's a little bit windy. Is that going to affect the cars? or? Uh, it could affect them on the big end if they're a little fast, but for the most part, we should be okay. Mike, tell me a little bit about yourself. Born and raised in Colorado Springs, and uh, my wife signed me up to come on the show. Your wife did? Yeah. Well, good wife. Hey, we need more wives like that. All right, gentlemen, let's, everybody's locked in. Let's take a look at those times. Mike's got a 985, Doug with a 980, and Ken Herring with a 930. Pretty close there, Ken. Yeah, they're real close, that's for sure. All right, let's watch Bye. this first pass. Now, Mike, you come from a racing uh, background at all, or not at all? How'd you get in, how'd you how'd you get involved in uh, liking the drag strip and all that in the cars? You know, watching this show. Education, pastime. Professor Wagner, how are you? Uh, you can be the student. Let me be the professor. Well, here we go, opening here up the goes. show. Let's watch this pass. Uh, spinning the wheel oh. a little bit there, but he's getting off wow. pretty good. Spun out of the hole. Nine six five. So let me hand that money right over to Big Doug, right on the boards, folks. Hundred dollars. Congratulations. Job, All right, let's do a little recap. Ken sitting on zero. Doug from Tooele, Utah, on a hundred, and Mike with zero. Let's bring up our next driver. What's your name? John Andrews. John, tell me about your ride. It's a '67 Mustang fastback, back half car, four link. Uh, it's got a an old circle track Cleveland motor that my dad built back in the 80s. All right, Mike for John. What kind of gas do you run through that? Uh, 110 octane. And Doug for John. Gear ratio? 486. And Ken Harry. Uh, how much power do you think the motor makes? What kind of horsepower? Uh, around 500, the crank. Hey, John, you ready to make a pass for us? I'm ready. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for coming out. All right, right there. $100 pass. Get you right back in the game here. Doug, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I originally drag raced when I was 18 years old on a dare and loved it. Um, <laughs> and just have never been able to shake it since then. Well, we appreciate you coming out. All right, everybody's locked in. Let's take a look at those times. 9.25 for Mike, an 11.30 for Doug, and a 10.40 for Ken. Doug, you know, I mean, I shouldn't question you, right? You just won the first round. So. <laughs> We're all over the board on this one. Yeah, are you worried about the green track there, Ken? You know, Area 51, aliens, the whole bit? <laughs> the only part I'm worried about is if they spin. Other than that, I'm not worried about aliens. Woo! Who's got that fast time? <laughs> is that you, Mike? Mike, Mike you're looking pretty good there, yeah. buddy. Doing a little three-wheel motion there. Uh-oh. That's a slow time right there. Uh, 1093. Big job, dog. Dude. 
He's already got fans in the crowd. Doug doing good. All right, a little recap, folks. Ken, Harry sitting on zero. Doug sitting on 200. And Mike, Mike, let's get you in the game, buddy. Let's go. All right, let's bring up our next driver. How are you, sir? Hey, thanks for coming out. What's your name? Joey York, out of Leveland, Texas. All right, Joey, tell me about your Camaro. 427, back half, 3,000 pounds. It's on alcohol. Mike for Joey. How much horsepower? 600. The little 600? Not bad. Power adders? No adders, nothing. Pure horsepower. And Ken Herring for Joey. You, you run at this track normally? Yes, sir. Two weeks ago. Okay. Do you have any trouble hooking then? No, sir. Okay. Good. You going to make a good pass for us, Joey? Best I can. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Appreciate you coming out. All right. Right there. Last of the $100 rounds. But I just want to let you guys know that Ken does come on strong in the end. All right. Let's take a look at those times. Everybody's locked in. The last of the $100 passes. Got a 9.45 for Mike, a 9.87 for Doug, and Ken Herring with a 10.75. What do you know, Ken, that I don't know? Uh, got to get used to the altitude thing. Forgot all about that. Tell me what kind of difference that makes, Ken, with the cars. It slows the cars down, probably three tenths or so. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. That sounds like 600 horsepower. What's that sound like? Sounds like a lot more. Right there. Oh, it looks pretty good, though. He's motivating on the other end. A uh, 982. Let me just walk down to Big Doug again. Doug's unbeatable, folks. All right, Ken sitting on zero. Doug sitting on $300. And Mike sitting on zero. Folks, it's past time. Don't go anywhere. Our sponsors want to say hello. We'll be right back. Folks, welcome back to Pastime. We're getting into round number two. The jack is going up. You guys ready? We're getting into our $200 rounds. Let's bring up our next driver. I'm in muscle car heaven is what we're in right now. There's some beautiful cars out here in New Mexico. Pretty nice out here, that's for sure. And now I know where all the great cars are abducted to. <laughs> How are you, bud? Uh, What's your name? Frank Viegas. Frank, what an awesome car you got there. Tell Thank me you. about it. It's uh, basically a 427. It's uh, got a roller cam in it, a four barrel Holly carburetor. I got a hundred shot of nitrous in it. Mike for Frank, question? How much horsepower? Uh, it's uh, about 400 horsepower. Uh, Doug for Frank. Was that with the spray or without? With the spray. And Ken Herring. What tires on the back of it, Frank? They're uh, Mickey Thompson's 10 and a half wide street radio slick. And what year Chevelle is that? It's a 68 Chevelle. Beautiful, sure buddy. Nice. Hey, Frank, thanks for bringing that car out. Have a good pass. $200 pass. Now, you were telling me you race up in Utah. Salt Lake City, the Rocky Mountain Raceway, is uh, 4,400 feet above sea level. It, it makes a difference in LH. I raced up in Boise, and it was the car was quicker um, almost two tenths quicker and about seven miles an hour faster. Wow. It just dropping 22 to 2200 feet. All right, let's take a look at those times. Everybody's like, Mike has got an 1125. Doug with an 1160 and Ken with a 1070. Doug, I'm gonna, I don't know. I might have to go with you, 11, 1160. Thinking that's safe. Ken, pretty tough here. Utah in the house, huh? You know, uh, yeah, it's tough on me. I hadn't, I hadn't got my bearings yet, but it's coming. Sounds good. You get a little purge of nitrous here. What time you got down there, Ken Aaron? I got time for me to win, buddy. Wow, wow. That's called spinning your tires Ooh. way far down the track. That's a tire spinner. That's not a catastrophic failure, but he's going to set a slow sign. A 1475, so let me just go hand this cash back over to the man again, Doug from Tooele. $200. What is with you, Doug? There's a Powerball lottery. He's like 179 mil. Go play, please. <laughs> Folks, Ken Herring sitting on zero. Big Doug from Utah sitting on 500 smackaroos, and Mike sitting on zero. Let's bring up our next driver. We got our combo round now. All right, guys. 
going to bring out two different cars. You got to give me one combined time. All right? And you're going to get to ask one of the drivers one question. What are you doing? What's your name again? Chuck. Chuck, how you doing, man? I'm doing real good. Chuck, tell me about your ride. Uh, my ride's a 68 Barracuda. It's a 440. It's th board 30 thousandths over. I'm riding aluminum heads on it uh, with a ladder bar rear suspension on it. All right. Well, thanks, for, thanks for coming out, sir. What's your name? Ray Corza. Ray, tell me about your ride. Uh, it's a 68 Barracuda. It's got a 360 stroked out to 414. Just a three-speed automatic. Gotcha. All right. Mike Chuckeray. Chuck, you, you running any nitrous? Uh, no, it's all gasoline. Doug Chuckeray. Uh, Ray, what, what kind of horsepower on your car? 450. And Ken Herring Chuckeray. Chuck, what kind of power on your car? About 500 horses. Okay. Well, hey, man, Chuck and Ray, thank you so much for coming out. You guys have a good pass. All right, guys, $200 round, the combo round. Two 68 Barracudas, are you kidding me? All right, let's get those times locked in. Let's take a look at these times. Mike with a 1980s. Doug with a 2320 and Ken with a 2080. What's going on here? It's looking good. Combo round, two 68 Barracudas for 200 Smackaroos. Big end of the track. Yeah, 2351, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Tooele, Utah in the house. $200 cash is good. Big Doug. Folks, Ken Harry sitting on zero, but Tooele, Utah and Doug sitting on $700. Mike sitting on zero. This is their last of our $200 rounds. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? What's your name? Mike Drew. Mike, that's an Anglia, is it? Yes. Tell me about that. It's an old car we found in the backyard in Artesia, New Mexico. Very tough to find those. Yes. What do you got in it? It's got a 358 cubic inch Chevrolet. Mike for Mike. Any power additives? No, no power. Doug for Mike. How much horsepower? How much horsepower? About 500. And Ken Harry. You had a tube chassis car? See, no. Homemade. Homemade. Okay. Got to make everything. There's nothing even in the Summit book for this car. Nothing wrong with that. All right, hey, thanks for bringing it out. Awesome. First Anglia we've ever had on the show. All right, have a good pass. All right, the last of the $200 rounds. Ken Herring, Mike, put you right back in here. We need this, Ken. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, they're locked in. Let's take a look at those times. Mike with a 1061. Doug with an 1120. And Ken Herring with an 1120. So, Doug, when we have a tie up there on the screen, if you guys win, since you locked in first, you're the winner. It was a European version of uh, the Honda Element. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty straight to me. Who's got the fast time on here? So Big Mike with a 1061. We're rooting for you, Mike. Put you on the board. Yeah, Ken, we need Mike to get on the board. Yeah. Or Mike be out of out of reach with oh. the money. Yeah, Doug will be out of reach here. Well, here Quickly. we go. Let's watch this pass. I stuttered a little bit there in the beginning. Straight as an arrow, but he kind of stuttered in the yeah. beginning right there. He stuttered for three years. Really pretty good at the back door, though. Uh, 1096. Ooh, that's close. That's, that's pretty close. Huh? We're going to go and do a little MF. It's Doug. Ladies and uh. gentlemen, Doug again. Doug. <laughs> He's just quiet like he does this every day. Ken Harry sitting on zero. And from Tooele, Utah, Doug with 900. Mike from Colorado sitting on zero. Folks, don't go anywhere. Pass time's coming back. The jack is going up. Welcome back to pass time, folks. We're getting into our third round. The jack is going up. Three hundred dollars of pass. Let's meet our next driver. <laughs> How are you, sir? Fine, how you doing? What's your name? Jason Hinojos. Jason, tell me about your ride. Uh, 1987 Mustang, uh, 393 small block, automatic, 14 gears, pretty much it. All right. Uh, Mike for Jason. What kind of tires do you have on the back of that? Uh, they're slicks, 10 and a half. Doug for Jason. 
Is supercharger, I see the Pro Charger. Yeah, Pro Charger, F1R. And Ken Herring. Ooh, how much boost on the F1? How much boost? Uh, about 15, about 15, 18 pounds, more or less, almost 20. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, thanks for coming out, Jason. You ready Likewise, to make a pass thank for you. us? Yes, sir. Let's do All it. All right, right there. Jason going to make a pass. Ken, Mike. Ken you know, and Mike are tied for you, a close you, second. You got to win uh, You got to win all these out right now. Every one. Every one. One of us has One of to. you has to win every one to beat Tooele, Utah. Don't know if it's possible. I think Doug just put Tooele, Utah on the map. Mike is locked in. Doug is locked in. Ken Herring is locked in. Let's take a look at these times. An 11.80 for Mike. Doug with a 10.50 and Ken Herring with a 12.90. You know what I'm going to do? Something I never bet on is it's going to spin. You're going to bet it's going to spin? Yeah, I'm going to bet. All right. That car is way faster than what I put in, that's for sure. But an F1 with 20 pounds of boost, that thing makes some power. It could blow the tires off. That's what I'm hoping on. Woo! Well, he can do a good burnout. Yep. Oh, Jason. You say if someone's going to win 300 bucks, it's going to be off Mike Pass. <laughs> oh, wow. Kind of chunked it in the beginning there, Ken. That thing is, uh, it's either. He spun him. Yeah. It's better than spin. An 11 21. Mike. We're going over here to Mike, right back on the board. Colorado on the board, right. Big Mike. Good job, buddy. Welcome to the game, young man. <laughs> About time. Huh? Wow. All right, let's do a little recap. Ken Harry sitting on zero. Doug sitting on 900. And Mike finally in the game, sitting on 300. Let's bring up our next driver. What's your name? David Calloway. Nice car, Dave. Tell me about it. It's a 97 Pontiac Firebird. Just a small block. Just a small block. Small block. Home built. Home built? Yep. All right. Mike for Doug. How much power? 650. Doug? How much does the car weigh? 2300. And Ken Harry? A four lane car? Yes. Okay. All right, buddy. Ready to make a pass? You're walking away from it. Get in oh, that car. Get I know you want to make it good. I'm ready to run. All right, buddy. He wants to run. Look at that. He's even running. He wants to get in the car as fast as he can. Ready to go, isn't he? He's ready to go. I sometimes frighten people. I know. It's understandable. <laughs> All right, $300 pass, last of the $300 pass. Mike, you need to win this to stay in the game. I'm game. All right, buddy. All right, let's take a look at those times. Everybody's locked in. Mike with a 915, Doug with a 980, and Ken Herring with a 931. He didn't want to say a whole lot about that car, no, did yeah. he? Had a big old smile on his face, too. It always worries you. Boy, they don't have that much room to get sideways on this track. They sure don't. It's awfully tight. It's tight, man. It's narrow. These guys get a little too sideways. Woo. They'll be looking at you over there. That's right. They'll be, I'll dent the car. <laughs> I don't want to dent anybody's car. But watch this pass. $300 pass. Oh, he hooked up. He hooked up all right. Okay. Mike, good job, man. 866. <laughs> Big Mike. Mike. Hey. Big Mike keeping it close. Give me a little pound there, Mike. Colorado in the house. Little recap. Ken Harry sitting on zero. Doug sitting on 900. Mike with 600. Folks, don't go anywhere. We're getting into our final round. It's worth $500. It's past time. I'll see you in a minute. All right, folks, welcome back to Pastime, the final round worth $500. We always save a little something special for last, but let me tell you the money situation. Mike sitting on $600. If he wins his $500, puts him at $1,100, he wins the whole game. Doug sitting on $900 is already in the lead. Doug, if you win, you win. And Ken Herring sitting on zero. Actually, Ken, if you win this round, Doug will still have $900. He'll have $500. If you win, you win it for Doug. Yeah, you know what I think I want to do this round? Just to show you that speed does love everybody, I'm going to sit out this round, and that way it'll be between Doug and Mike, and I won't be a spoiler this time. So, ladies and gentlemen, $900 for Doug, $600 for Mike, $500. This is what it's all about. You guys ready? Let's be our final driver. How are you, sir? How you doing? Thanks for coming out. You're a, you're a final contestant. It's worth $500. Someone up there is going to win $2,000 because of you. I hope it's Ken. 
Well, you know, <laughs> Ken's out of it. He can't win. What's your name? Tom Martinez. Tom, tell me about your ride. Uh, it's a 33 Ford Coupe, fiberglass body, has a 4.6 modular motor with a 871 supercharger, all home built. Suicide doors. Suicide doors. The only way to fly. Another home built car. You know what? This seems like uh, New Mexico is the home of the home built car. Probably. All right, Mike, first question. Is that car going to hook up? You going to hook up? I hope so. The track looks kind of iffy today. And Doug, what kind of horsepower? I have not had it dynoed. It's uh, it's detuned quite a bit, so it's it's not going to be as impressive as it looks. Well, you're giving him a little bit of thing there. 400. And since and since Ken is not in the game, you want to say hello to Ken? How's it going, Ken? Good luck, man. Hey, win it for us there. Hey, thanks for coming out. Beautiful car. Let's make a good pass. Thank you. All right, here we go. Final round. $500. It's gonna be Utah versus Colorado. Someone's going home with two grand. And it's not Ken Herring. Well, you know what I think it is? I think it's that Area 51 thing. <laughs> Got me a little Ken's spooked. a little worried, he's a little <laughs> spooked. Yeah, exactly. Let's look at these times. We got an 1187 for Doug, a 12 flat Ooh, for look Mike. look how close that is. Wow. That's gonna be a good one to end this. We didn't find out how much this thing weighed, did we? No, good question. Would've been a nice question, wouldn't it? Yeah. Had a Hemi in it? Did I miss that part? No, modular motor. Okay, it's got a modular motor in it. A 4.6 liter? Yeah. Yeah, tell me about a modular motor, Doug. It's an overhead cam motor. They make dual and single. Um, could be out of a Mustang. You looking for a job, Doug? Uh, no, I'm, I'm employed. All right, I'll just check it, because, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's real funny. Uh, huh? <laughs> Hurt. Sound like it had a dead hole. Yeah, it does, does it? See what happens. Here we go. Good luck, boys. Mike, oh, I think you're fixing to put that money in your pocket, buddy. Boy, I'll tell you what, you <laughs> never know. Look at that scratch right through there. I think it's That was a slow pass, so let's All see. All right, man. A 1397. Are you kidding me, Mike? Good you can the comeback, Mike, right there, folks. $500 <laughs> puts you in the lead with $1,100. Right. That means, Doug, you got to hand over that $900 to Colorado Mike right there. All right. Hey, Doug, thanks for playing. Really appreciate you coming out. Congratulations, Mike. Folks, it's past time. Name the time, win the cash. It's that easy. I'm Brett Wagner for Speed from Roswell, New Mexico. We'll see you next time.